this is my file. It says Bill, comma, driver, Sam, comma, doctor, Tom, comma, shrink, and Victoria, comma, hot. Now I want to open up that file and print all its contents out onto the screen. How am I going to do that? Here's how I do it. The first thing I do is import the OS module. Import OS. And I hit enter. The next thing I do is I set the path where my file is located. I'll call it P for path. Quotes E colon backslash backslash and then it'll be in the python 34 subdirectory now i'll add on two more backslashes and the name of the file dfile.txt close quotes and i hit enter next i get a test to see if it's a valid path if os.path.exists prints P, close brands, colon. Well, what that's saying is this. Mr. OS, if, if the path specified by P really exists, then you have to do the following. We'll take the variable called file. Hmm, what will it refer to? Let's open up the file referred to by the letter P. And we'll open up the file referred to by the letter P for reading purposes only. Now I can refer to the contents of that file by the variable file. Now, for each line, not X, but E-L, each line, in the variable called file, colon, this is what I want you to do. Well, I'm going to use the variable X. X is equal to the following. Take each line and split it where? At the comma. And we'll assign that to X. Now, you saw the file just a second ago. It's got two parts in it. There's the zeroth part, a comma, and there's the oneth part. And they all have the same format. Split it at the comma. Now you got two parts. Assign it to X. Now you print out the following. X, I want to see your zeroth part, followed by a comma, quotes, a tab, and double quotes again. And then, after the comma, I want to see X's oneth part. I'm done with that loop. File.close. Now, that's what you do if the path exists. But what if it doesn't exist? Else, colon, print the following. Check your path file name. Close quotes, close parens. I hit the enter key twice, and I should see all my records. And there they are. This worked perfectly. Now I'm going to copy this entire line. Why? Because I'm going to screw it all up. I am going to give this guy the wrong name. I will call him D Dial ddial.txt. Then I'm going to run this code again. It's going to try and open up a non-existent file. It should then jump over here and print out check your path and file name. Let's put it to the test. Whoa, it worked. We're good. This is George Bull. I hope this was useful. Please rate this video and share it if you can. I'd appreciate that. Good luck.